happy Sunday to you all. Um, and if you're in the US, happy Sunday from Thanksgiving weekend. Um, I hope you guys had an amazing holiday weekend if you're in the US. And if you're not in the US, I hope you had a great weekend. Anyways, but um, alrighty. So I wanted to come in and come on and change this super sweet girl. Look how cute she looks. Oh my gosh, I forgot how sweet this little me um, sleeper is. Look how cute is that. I think I, yeah, I filmed uh, when I changed her a while ago. It's been a while. It's been a while. I haven't changed this girl in a while because, you know, you guys know I got the uh, new April twins and all that. And I was like very focused on, on them. So anyways, so I wanted to change her. Um, this was a kind of bittersweet weekend for me. Uh, let me tell you why. So we did have friends coming over for Thanksgiving and that was amazing. That was so much fun. Uh, the food was delicious. Uh, I told you guys I didn't cook myself. I just made mac and cheese. Uh, but we got the food from the food store, like I told you, and it was um, fantastic. We had a great time and everything. But that morning, um, from Thanksgiving Day on Thursday, we did get a text from one of my husband's cousins um, letting us know that her brother sorry about that guys my phone rang as usual <laughs> it seems every time I start filming a video my phone has to ring so all right so I was telling you so Thanksgiving day morning we got a text from a cousin of my husband um, letting us know that her brother uh, has passed away her brother has been battling cancer for like a decade I'm not kidding like a decade and he did have like three different kinds of cancers I saw the obituary today obituary sorry today so it was a bittersweet day because we did have a great time with our friends and stuff but we got those news that morning and my husband told me he said you know what I had a weird feeling like since I wake up that, that morning that something was going to happen. When he was at the hospital, he was very critical. Like, we knew what was going to happen, you know, but still that's not the kind of news that you expect to get on in a holiday. I mean, actually any day, but you know what I mean, guys. So anyway, so, so yeah, so I've been feeling kind of down. I saw the obituary today and it seems... His twin brother is struggling a lot with the whole thing. They were very close. His twin brother was taking, has been taking care of him for like two years, over two years now. So they were super close and yeah, so it's very, very hard for the family guys. So, so I wanted to change this girl to kind of cheer myself up a little bit. Okay, I need some reborn therapy <laughs> once again. Um, and let me show you what she's going to be wearing. She's going to be wearing this cute onesie that... It's funny because I bought this onesie from his first, her first mommy, uh, Kimberly, who sold this beautiful girl to me. Um, she had an Instagram sale not too long ago, and I got a few things I show you guys on, on another video. And this is one of the onesies that I got from her. It's like um, mint green, and it has uh, glittery um, silver hearts all over. Um, she's going to be wearing that underneath the outfit. The outfit is this super cute light pink um, long sleeve shirt. Look how cute is that. It has like ruffles there and it has this cute bow there. Look how cute is that. With some a little bit of silver in there. And it has the cute pants to go with that with a lot of green and flowers and I don't know I like that uh, I mean I know it's you know almost winter but I don't know I just um, I like I love flowers anyways and I love spring so I think this outfit is gonna go pretty nicely and she's gonna be wearing these cute shoes that I also got from her first mommy uh, and I'm gonna try to put the socks on I don't know if that's gonna work but we'll see guys so let's get into changing her well i do see that she does have a onesie actually on and it goes pretty well with the rest of the outfit so i might i might just leave this onesie yeah i might just leave this onesie so i don't have to take it off and 
and put that on her and I do have to condition her hair oh my gosh I should try to do that between tonight or it's probably not gonna happen tonight but between tomorrow Monday and Wednesday because Wednesday night is when my parents come and you guys know <laughs> how I feel about sharing my hobby with them and you're probably thinking my goodness you are a grown woman like you shouldn't care what your parents think about your hobby but um, I know guys I know I shouldn't but it's just a fact it's funny because at first I didn't want to tell them because I you know I wasn't getting pregnant and uh, I thought they were gonna take it the wrong way and think that I was trying to kind of replace that baby that I couldn't have with the reborns or something and they were gonna think there was something wrong with me mentally if you know what I mean um, and now it's because I do have a, a real baby I do have a son a toddler I sh actually I should say he's not more baby I don't think um, and um, maybe actually something with long sleep once and maybe it's not the best for this but anyways we'll see yeah I just don't want because I can picture my mom saying oh my gosh you're spending all that money on, on dolls and clothes for the dolls when you have a real son and blah 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 and I don't know guys I don't know if uh, someday I have to tell them because I you know I mean this hobby means a lot to me I love this hobby and it makes me feel so good like I mean like I said it's been it's funny because the way this hobby has helped me through the years it has changed you know a lot like I mentioned on my last video um, but um, yeah I mean I I love this hobby and I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon guys <laughs> let me tell you um, if I I do want to have I do want to have another baby another real baby um, I would love for Lucas to have a sibling but even if I get pregnant again um, I wouldn't I wouldn't do what I did the first time around I wouldn't sell my whole collection I would probably downsize I'm sure because you know when you have a real child coming you need the money I mean there's a lot of expenses that go with that so uh, so of course I would downsize I do have a big collection right now I gotta say but I wouldn't I wouldn't sell my whole collection like I did the first time around because look in the end then you know I did get Lucas diagnosis and now now that I'm saying this I kinda wonder I wonder if Lucas hadn't got that Williams syndrome diagnosis would I would I have come back like would I be collecting now that's a good question <laughs> right that's a good question I don't know I think I probably would maybe like especially but I would have I would have started as soon as I did like when I did you know what I mean like I would have started because I think I went back to collecting in back in August last year yeah August last year was a year uh, actually oh my gosh August this year was a year since I've been collecting again oh my gosh I'm sorry I cannot talk and I've been having baby fever like real baby fever <laughs> you know fever for a real baby <laughs> for for a while now for a while now um, and I do see other moms with kids with Williams and they're getting pregnant they are about to have babies they are having babies and I'm like oh I want a baby too you know I mean I, I would love I would love love to have a little girl um, but if it's not a girl um, see you know what no I cannot put socks because yeah, these shoes are size zero, like newborn. So we're gonna have to forget that she doesn't have socks and put them on like that. 
I wanted to put socks on her, but they're not gonna fit. They're too tiny. They're too tiny, and you know she's more like zero to three, three months size. So, oh my goodness, how cute is she? I love her. So, like I said, so I've been having baby fever for a while now. Um, so I think I would probably be collecting even if Lucas hadn't gotten you know his diagnosis uh, but I don't know I don't know if my collection maybe my collection wouldn't be as big as it is because I like I said I wouldn't have started as when I did I you know because um, I, I wasn't having baby fever back in August last year like I wasn't you know Lucas was very very young uh, but now you know he's gonna be he's gonna turn two in March I know that's why it's off. I mean, you know, I'm not saying it's like around the corner, but before you know it, you know, Christmas is almost here, and then it's gonna be that's like gonna that's gonna be like what three more months, and then he's gonna be two, and uh, I'm really, really like mm, having that baby fever. You know, I mean, I think it would be a good time to give him a brother or sister. Um, I'm 35. I am not a spring chicken, guys. I don't want to wait much longer at all. Um, I know, I know a lot of women have kids at 40 and even after. My mom had me at 42 uh, and everything went fine. But me personally, I don't think I would feel comfortable having kids uh, after 40 or 40 or more, you know. So, so I'm really, you know, I think this would be a great time because uh, also I wouldn't want the sibling to be to have so much difference with Lucas you know the age difference I want them to be close in age and you know since he's gonna be two in March and the pregnancy is almost a year so you know by the time the baby would be here he's gonna be three or so I don't know uh, so I think it would be a good time but you know it's just we're not trying like super hard, sorry for being TMI, we're not trying super hard, but we're not preventing it. And I do have a nap, you know, when I know when things could work out, and that's when we try, you know, when we do those stuff. I don't, I know a lot of kids may be watching this, so I don't want to be, you know, specific, like explicit or anything like that. Uh, you guys, you guys know what I mean. Um... But so far, I don't know, you know, it's just not happening. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, we'll see. But yeah, that's a question that I ask myself right now. I'm like, would I be collecting if I hadn't gotten Lucas diagnosis? Um, I think by now I would be. I would be again because, um, I don't know. And also, I love this hobby, guys. Like, I don't know, it's just... Not just for the uh, the fact that it relaxes me and all that and helps me with the anxiety, but I just I don't know I, I love it and I, and I love these dolls and I love changing them. Look how cute she looks! Oh my goodness, she looks so adorable. I love how these shoes look on her with that outfit. <laughs> Isn't it perfect? Oh my god, she's so pretty. I'm not gonna put a herb on her today. I'm not. Uh, her hair is just beautiful. I love this outfit on her. She has her cute teething donut here. Look how cute is that. So yeah guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. I do feel a bit better already. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video with this sweetheart with my sunny Grace. I love, love this girl. I love her so, so much. She's one of my favorites. You guys know that. Um, and yeah, so I thought it would be a good idea to change her since, you know, so you guys get a break. I know I changed things on the last video, but anyways, you guys need a little break from the April twins, <laughs> okay? Anyways, guys, well, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, thank you for sticking around. Uh, some of you have me on Facebook and you guys already gave me, you know, your condolences about my husband's cousin passing and all that. I appreciate that so, so much. Thank you guys so much. Um, and yeah, uh, all I can think about is that he's not suffering anymore because he was in so much pain, guys. He was in so, so much pain. Um, you know, I 
yeah, we moved here and he was having his good days, his bad days, but then suddenly he just ended up in the hospital and yeah. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.